Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown. Also, we're going to be breaking down some of the photos for the next episode as well. Additionally, we're going to talk a bit about some crisis stuff. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we'll get to the Flash trailer bit in a second because that's the main bit. But I just briefly wanted to talk about Crisis just a little bit because, as you know, we're getting nearer and nearer to Crisis. It's currently November 6th when I'm recording this and when the video will go up. And we are expecting Crisis to start around early December, so about a month away or so, right? So not very far away. So when can we expect that first trailer, that first look? Well, I've got a theory, and this is sort of based on some facts from before when we've had past crossover trailers and stuff like that, but also it's theorizing as well. So, I would hazard the guess that the first Crisis teaser, it will be a teaser first, they won't release like a full trailer, should come when The Flash returns. Not this week, because it's actually off this week, but the next week after that. I reckon that's when we're going to get our first teaser. It could be possible it drops on Supergirl. I think last year for Elseworlds, they dropped a trailer, like a little teaser on Supergirl. Then they did another one on The Flash, they did another one on Arrow, and maybe something like that is in order this year, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's move on. Just a little bit more Crisis stuff before we get into The Flash. I wanted to showcase this poster because I saw this poster on Reddit and I thought it was really good. It is kind of like an Avengers Endgame type poster where you've got all the characters and it's just kind of exciting because talking about the trailer we should be expecting a poster in the next week or two for crisis because we haven't had an official poster yet we've had these character posters but they're actually not posters they're just like character first looks really so yeah this poster gets me very excited for the possibility of a new poster coming in the next week or so so anyway let's move on to talk about the flash this is the main topic of the video and yeah, so let's go ahead and break down the trailer. So the first shot of the trailer, and by the way, this is the episode that Danielle Panabaker directed. We'll talk more about that later in the video. So the first shot starts off and we are in this sort of theater, right? Maybe it's like a bidding auction. I do think it's something like that. Or it could just be, you know, this party event that Barry mentions in the trailer. But I think in the end it's going to be some sort of, like, big event that's happening. So we get a James Bond reference with Barry saying, Alan, Barry Allen. So obviously heavily inspired by James Bond this episode. Then we move on to the next shot. It's not actually a shot. It's the date for this episode, Tuesday, November 19th. So like I mentioned just prior, yeah, we're not going to have an episode this week. But it's going to come back the week after. I think it is something to do with the Americans Thanksgiving or something like that. I have no idea when Thanksgiving is. All I know it's in November. So yeah, don't worry. There is going to be daily videos still going on even though The Flash isn't on. I do believe Supergirl's on and I think Arrow's on, but I could be wrong about Arrow. I haven't checked the trailer. Actually, I think Arrow's probably off. But anyway, Supergirl should be still on. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. So... This shot is inside the party. Again, sorry, this is not very high quality, this trailer. This was just recorded from a TV. The CW hasn't posted their official one yet. But anyway, so yeah, Barry and Ralph are going to be the main centerpieces of this episode. Obviously, we have the other stuff, which we'll talk about later, to do with Harrison Wells and his big revelation towards the end of last episode. You know, how to say Barry. But I'm pretty sure Barry and Ralph are not going to be down there when, you know, he talks about that. Okay, so moving on to the next shot, we got Barry and Ralph, they're all in their tuxedos, we got the bow tie and everything, looking kind of cool. Then we have a fight breaking out, and Barry is fighting Ultraviolet, who is returning in this episode. To be honest, I don't actually remember what happened with her, I think she was subdued, maybe put to prison. Can't really remember because she wasn't that memorable, but she was in like episode 2 or something like that. She was linked to one of Iris's co-workers now. We get our first look at the sort of villain of the week, obviously teaming up with Ultraviolet it seems like. So this is sort of just your stereotypical Bond villain. He is German, he says wunderbar in the trailer which is wonderful, you know, he's very very stereotypical. I guess I'm kind of looking forward to it, although I know it's going to be very predictable on that part. 
and then we move on we get another shot seems like Ralph is a little bit scared then he's using some sort of machine cuts in a bit closer and it says Central City so this machine obviously has the power to potentially maybe wipe out Central City maybe cause definitely some sort of harm or damage then we move on to the next shot we get to see this machine maybe this is the machine that we saw you know him trying to control but it kind of looked like he was like using like a machine for a bomb I don't know maybe this is a bit different but anyway so it sort of snaps into place ultraviolet's there she's the one that turns it on and it's about to fire at Barry who is tied up but he's tied up as the flash which is very very crucial he's not Barry so he's had some time to run off and come back as the flash but also Ralph is tied to the back of him so we get the shot Ralph is very very scared he's sort of like freaking out what's happening here so we get a shot from the perspective of that machine it misses Barry and Ralph somehow they are chained via this like metallic thing so maybe there is you know some sort of meta who can bend it I don't know but anyway so they're there it's shooting at them but it fails to hit them and the guy says wunderbar as I said, he's sort of your stereotypical like German bad guy. So yeah, that is about it for the trailer. The trailer doesn't give off too much really. That is so much to break down. So let's move on to talk about these photos. So these photos are really good. I really like these photos. So we got our first look at one of the opening scenes in the episode. This is the continuation from the end of last episode with Nash Wells, Harrison Wells. You know, the new version of himself and his links to Crisis and how to stop Barry because that was the cliffhanger at the end of last night's episode. So we've got Killer Frost here in that very same tunnel. You can see the lights in the background that he had last episode. So she's here. Caitlyn's not here anymore, so it seems like Caitlyn's gone away. You're not gonna see much Killer Frost or Caitlyn in this episode because Danielle directed it. But anyway, so moving on to the next photo, probably my favorite photo, we have Harrison Wells. He's putting his hand up. He's sort of, you know, I think he's doing it as a signal to stop. Maybe he's showing them something. Well, he's definitely showing them something down there. And so, like I mentioned prior, seems like Ultraviolet's cousin, I think she was. I don't really remember. But she was introduced and she currently works for Iris at her newspaper. But I'm not sure why she's down here with the rest of Team Flash. But... Anyway, so Harrison Wells is showing them whatever he feels the need to show them, which will aid them in, you know, stopping Barry from dying in crisis. Okay, so we go back to that party, that sort of James Bond party. We get a better look, obviously better quality because this is photos, not from a trailer recorded from a TV. And so we got Barry and we got the villain, you know, the sort of German villain. He's got like rings all over his knuckles, very opposite of those guys you know everyone in the room is wearing black suits and he's wearing a white which is sort of symbolism for you know him being the complete opposite he's the villain essentially so we go closer we see barry and ralph they're sort of just looking very smart one of the best photos you know just showcasing barry in this suit super cool grant looks super super fly right in this photo and we've got them adjusting their suits in various different shots Barry's even adjusting Ralph's suit, so he's sort of trying to get him in shape. I guess this is when he realizes, oh, we gotta act the part. And it looks like in the background that maybe this is some sort of gun selling party, due to the fact that there is a gun in a case back there. It's gold, so yeah, maybe they're selling guns. Maybe that's the thing, they're selling weapons. We know this is some sort of criminal party, so that would make a lot of sense. Then we move on, those two are both near a balcony, still in their suits. We've got a photo of Ultraviolet returning, just a better quality version. And the final photo is of Danielle Panabaker directing the episode. So this is her second episode, she did Godspeed last season, that was a very 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 good episode. I just sort of worry that there is not enough like main series material, and what I talk about that is in you know to do with the main storyline maybe there's not going to be that much crisis obviously she gets to deal with the stuff of Harrison Wells I think that's the most interesting stuff obviously the James Bond stuff is very curious and intriguing but it's not really to do with the main story it's something completely separate really from what we have been doing this season so that is about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later goodbye
icy road.